in this video we are going to learn how to install jenkins server with the help of the docker compose so this is the part two in the part one we have already learned like how to install jenkins server with the help of the docker in the part one we have also seen how to create a jenkins user how to give the correct permission and also how to install the docker and provide the proper permission to the docker in this video we are going to do each and everything which we have done in the part one but this time we are going to do it with the help of the docker compose now the first thing which we need to do for the docker compose is that we need to install the docker compose on our machine so how to install the docker compose for that what i need to do is let me log into my machine so here i logged into my machine and if i go to docker ps i don't have any the container running related to the jenkins server so i have deleted everything what i need to do is i need to install the docker compose if i am going to type docker compose here it is telling me docker compose command not found so that means we need to install the docker compose how to install the docker compose for that what we need to do is we need to go to the official website of the docker now this is the official website where it says install docker compose and what we need to do is we need to install the plugin so install docker compose plugin okay the first prerequisite for docker compose is to have docker install on the machine so if you are not sure how to install docker you can go and watch the part one of this video where i have explained how to how to install the docker okay now in the part two here we need to install this docker compose plugin so let me scroll down a bit and we need to search for this is for ubuntu and we are on the linux machine so we need to look for the linux okay install the plugin manually now this is not which we are looking at the moment let me check stand alarm okay yes this is the one this is the command which we need to use in order to install the standalone version of the docker compose let me go here and let me type sudo first because I logged in with the Jenkins user. It requires the sudo privilege to install something. We need to add the password. We are done. Now let me type the docker compose. It is telling me permission denied. So in order to correct this permission what I need to do is I need to make this binary as executable. So how to create this binary as a exec executable that is sudo chmod plus x that is a executable permission and which usr local bin docker compose done i need to exit i need to log in back let me enter the password now here i need to check with the docker compose file great now we are getting the reply so that means my docker compose installed successfully okay now the second thing which we need to do is we need to create one docker compose dot yaml file to install the jenkins server for that what i'm going to do is i'm going to create one directory first and directory is going to be mktir let me give a name jenkins underscore home or jenkins dash data okay now let me go inside this so if i'm going to do pwd i'm inside home jenkins user and inside that we have created one folder with the name jenkins data and if i'm going to do ls minus lah here the owner and the group is jenkins user only now the next thing which i need to do is i need to create a docker yaml file docker dash compose dot yaml now in this file i am going to write all my configuration so how to write a yaml file we need to start with the version and current version which is running is 3.7 or something but let me go with 3 this is a stable version right now the next thing we need to provide the services after that we need to give two space and then we need to start writing our jenkins server configuration so jenkins let me give four space now and here i need to provide the image name now the image from where i will get the image for that what i need to do is i need to go to the docker jenkins image 
this is the official documentation here I need to go and this is a depreciated one so let me this is the one Jenkins Jenkins this is the name let me copy this thing let me go to my server so the image name is going to be this okay now here we can provide couple of other informations as well like who is going to be the user if you need to provide so you can provide something like root if you need to provide but i'm not going to provide this thing but let me update this thing so that you if you need to provide this thing in your docker yaml you can do that you can also provide the privilege v i l e t g e is the spelling correct p r i v i l e t l g e t this is the correct spelling and this is going to be true again that is totally up to you if you want to include in your docker compose file you can do that but i don't want to include this thing the thing which i really require is the port port mapping so ports and here which port do i need to provide for that again i need to go here let me go to the documentation of this thing here we have the port 8080 and 5000 so let me provide this information the same way i need to provide this 5000 port as well okay now the next thing which i need to provide is the container name so once my container is up and running if i am not going to provide the name it is going to randomly pick any name that is something i don't want so let me provide the container name here container underscore name and let me give the name okay let's give jenkins only okay and after that i need to provide the volumes now in the volume if we are going to check here is the volume option so here it says minus v we can provide something like this i can just copy and paste it over there but this jenkins home this jenkins home is now where let, let me save this file first i am in this folder right i'm in this folder home jenkins jenkins data so that means for me this jenkins home is going to be this path right this path and then we have the jenkins home correct and this thing so let me copy this thing and in linux we have one command that is the pwd if i'm going to type it is going to tell me where i am right now that is the present working directory so the same thing i'm going to mention it my docker compose file so how i'm going to mention this thing here what i'm going to do is i'm will give dollar and i will give pwd here and then this thing okay so pwd is going to be the present working directory where i am right now then we have the jenkins home and it is this is inside the container inside the container it is going to be this path okay I think we are good if we want we can add the networks as well but that is totally up to you if you want to add I can show it to you how you can add the network as of now we don't have any network created so we can create one network as well so net and in order to create the network it is something like networks and what is the network name that is net so now it is going to create the network net as well I think we are good now let me save this thing control x save created a docker compose.yml file now the next thing which i need to do is i need to run the docker compose and in order to run that thing what i need to do is i need to go with the command docker compose up minus g now why i am using minus g parameter here because i don't want 
द डॉकर कंपोज टू रन द जेनकिन सर्वर ऑन दिस टर्मिनल आई वॉन्ट जेनकिन जेनकिन कंटेनर विल दन इन द बैक एंड इन द बैकग्राउंड ओके नाउ वी हैव द टू टास्क रनिंग वन इज क्रिएटेड सो द नेटवर्क इज क्रिएटेड एंड दिस कंटेनर इज चार्टेड लेट मी वेरीफाई इंड विद द डॉकर पी एस कमांड येस वी हैव द कंटेनर अप एंड रनिंग एंड इट इज रनिंग फ्रॉम द नाइन सेकेंड नाउ नाउ लेट मी गो लेट मी ग्रैप द पब्लिक आई पी लेट मी क्लोज दिस वन ओके ओपन इट नंबर एटी एटी now we need to get the password of this so how to connect to the container the command is docker exec minus it then we need to give the container name or the container id so the container id is 1d after that bash now here i need to do the ls and this is the location var jenkins where i need to go and if you look at this var jenkins this is the location where i need to go so let me copy this location and do a cat here i will get the password let me copy this thing enter it here and it will start installing the jenkins server for me so this is how we can install jenkins with the help of the docker compose file